Hey everyone, it's Savannah, and it's looking like we may be expecting some Alice in Wonderland items appearing in this week's item shop, so let me slip into something a little bit more comfortable. Okay, this is more like it. This is definitely more on theme. So this is an area I recently created for a dream snap. This was for the Top It All Off Hats Dream Snap Week, and of course I decided I wanted to dress my character up as the Mad Hatter. So hopefully I did the Johnny Depp version of the character some justice here. And we set up this really cute Wonderland inspired tea party in my peaceful meadow. I love this build so much. I think I'm gonna keep it. We have the mushroom house in the background. But yeah, I'm planning on decorating the interior of this mushroom house as kind of like a Mad Hatter mushroom themed house as well. So stay tuned for that. The shop should be refreshing any moment moment now. I already feel like I'm gonna have to add moonstones. <gasps> oh, a new tool set. Oh my gosh. My car is dry. Okay, you guys said I'd say her name wrong, so I'm not even gonna try. Alice's Curious Labyrinth Bundle. Oh, it's 2000. Okay, okay, that's not bad. The Curious Caterpillar. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for my meadow. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I wonder if you can interact with him. Okay, we have the Cheshire Cat Topiary. Kind of horrifying, but I guess that's kind of the point. The Curious Labyrinth Entrance. I'm a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland. I dressed up as Alice on my channel for Halloween, so this is very, very exciting for me. Spiral Fountain. Okay, we've got to see whatever that's going to do. Topiary Fence. Lots of fence and walls. Okay, so we can really make a whole hedge maze here. Okay, that is super exciting. I already know I, I need to get this. Absolutely. Okay, we have Meg's costume dress from Hercules. Oh my gosh, put it on the Mad Hatter. Oh! Okay, that's definitely not the best way to showcase it, but go off, Mad Hatter. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to see that on my female character. What else do we have? The Pixar Pal Around is in the shop, as well as some items from the previous year's Star Path, Monsters Inc. attraction, and the Centennial Park Fountain are also back in the shop. Okay, what else is new? Main Street Confectionery. Is this a little candy? shop. This is a really cute little candy shop. Again, it's a building that's kind of on the corner, similar to how Daisy's Touch of Magic boutique is. So this is really cool. And this is a house style. So we'll actually be able to decorate the inside of this as a little shop. The outside of the building is, is nice. It looks like the, the lettering is going to light up outside as well. Okay. Yeah. The, it does look like it lights up. Okay. That looks like it'll be a pretty fun building. Okay. But this is what I'm really excited about in here too. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I, I really want to check out the Alice Wonderland stuff too. This this pickaxe set, this tool set looks so cool. I feel like you still can't really get a good idea for how this stuff is going to look. Electrical. What is this is just from like the park celebration or oh my gosh, look at this. Whoa, that hourglass is so sick. This Okay, all this stuff look. Wait, does it all light up? Oh, we got to check all this stuff out. Wait, this looks so sick. The hourglass alone. Also, I really like the watering can. The shovel looks look, it all looks good. Okay. I'm going to have to see if my results are in my mail. Okay. I still don't see my results from the previous dream snap week, but let's go ahead and get the Alice in Wonderland bundle and take a look at that. And I can always add in more moonstones if I need to. Let's get Alice's curious labyrinth bundle. I'm so interested to see this caterpillar. This is such a great bundle for 2000 moonstones. You get a lot of stuff. I think this will be pretty fun. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy having to run through a maze in my valley, but this opens up a lot of potential for multiplayer too, I feel like. You could really have fun and make a maze with your friends. All right, let's see if these new Alice Wonderland items are Mad Hatter approved. I hit my item limit. Okay, hold that thought. Let's see this. Oh, he's so cool. He's so cool. Oh my gosh, my meadow is about to go crazy over here with all this Alice in Wonderland stuff. Okay, wow, it gave me a couple of pieces of these items. I appreciate that. Oh gosh, am I gonna have to make a maze somewhere over here? We're gonna have to have a whole Wonderland type situation. Okay, I'm gonna put the arch here. I'm just gonna take everything out so we can 
take a peek at it. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is so much bigger than I thought this Cheshire Cat thing would be. Oh my gosh. Were y'all expecting it to be that huge? This fountain is gonna be cool. I just know. I'm hoping the water spins around. So it gave us two of those. I was just kind of hoping that they would start giving us multiple items because I realized when I got that clock set the other day, like why did I pay... 1200 moonstones and only get one of each clock. I feel like we should have gotten multiple. Okay, these fences fit up next to each other absolutely perfectly. My meadow is a work in progress. Don't mind how it's looking, but it's gonna be like a fairy and wonderland type feel. So we're gonna have like Tinkerbell, Pixie Hollow, as well as Wonderland type stuff. I'm just gonna put out a, a few of these pieces. So we can take a look at them. I think they work absolutely flawlessly together. Let's check out the rest of this Wonderland stuff. The Cheshire cat is crazy. <laughs> I feel like it should be smaller. Why is the caterpillar so small? Why is the caterpillar so small, but the Cheshire cat, like this is gigantic. This is way too big. This would be crazy if you made a massive maze and have this in the middle and this is like the start of it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool for multiplayer though. I feel like the lettering on the arch could be a lot more detailed. I don't know, it's just kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like the sign on it almost looks old. Like maybe it's supposed to, but I don't know. I feel like it could look a little bit more detailed. Let's check out these fountains. Okay, so it's called a spiral fountain. I thought that meant the water would go in a spiral. It really just looks like it has the fountain tile in it. Okay, these are interesting. These will be cool for like dream snaps and stuff because of the height that it's at. Like you could put this behind something and, and make it look like water is coming out of it. I also feel like these items could look a bit more detailed. Is it just me or do they look like kind of blurry? They look kind of, they look a little busted. I'm not gonna lie. But I do play on Switch, so that could be why. Maybe it's a lotus root, the thing he's sitting on, but why does it also kind of look like a brain? I wish that it did something. I wish that you could interact with it and it would like blow smoke out or do something. I also feel like the caterpillar should be a bit larger. I don't know. I feel like this set is kind of kind of hit or miss. As an Alice in Wonderland fan, I, I want to be really excited about it, but I feel like the fountains could use a little bit more detail. I, I think the caterpillar could have been bigger. This I feel like should be smaller, but maybe that's just my opinion. You guys will have to let me know what you think about that. And the hedge fence I think is awesome. You can do so much with this. You don't even have to make a maze with this. You can use this around your houses just as a regular fence. This has a lot of design potential and as somebody who loves to decorate and design in this game, that's a big win for me. So I, I have mixed feelings about this set. I think for 2,000 moonstones, it's kind of a win. Y'all will have to let me know what you think about this set. Okay, I was just playing around and you can actually fit the Cheshire Cat like right up under the arch entrance and I feel like that is kind of cool. It's kind of cool for a, a nice background. Okay, I swapped back into my Tink outfit and our result from the Royal Celebration Dream Snap are finally here. Let's see how we scored. Okay, 4,000 Moonstones ranked 2,770. Let's go. Okay, those 4,000 Moonstones are definitely coming in handy this week. Let's see if we got anything. This was a decor challenge. Did we get anything new? Uh, no, no. Okay, now that we have more Moonstones to work with, if you don't have this Disney Park stuff, I feel like you've got to get it this week. We're going to have to have Moonstones. Okay, she looks so stinking cute standing there with that. Let's let's see the tool set. Let's go ahead and see the tool set. Okay, so to equip tools, you need to go into the wardrobe menu and then go over to tools. And then you can see all the variants you have for each tool. And then you're just gonna wanna swap those. Let me just put them all on first and then we'll, we'll check them all out. But we also need to see all the Wonderland stuff at night. I, I do need to take a look at that as well. Oh my gosh. I feel like we might need to go tonight right away to check these out. Okay, the watering can. Watering can looks really cool. I really like the watering can. Ooh. Okay. 
Wait, is it glowing as I'm using it? No, it just continues to glow. Okay, that's really cool. Shovel lights up too. I have all this stuff laying around from my dream snap. Let me dig right here. Okay, do we notice anything happening? Maybe I need to see it at night. I feel like they never do enough for the fishing rods, but this one's kind of cool. Honestly, it gives me Christmas vibes with the red, the gold green oh i think my pickaxe has a potion on it okay but this one this one looks pretty cool um what else do we have the phone was there a phone oh it kind of looks like i'm playing tetris or something <laughs> on my phone okay that's kind of fun something different and the hourglass i feel like the hourglass they always kill it with the hourglass look how cool that is this stuff kind of looks like those things they walk around selling at like firework shows for the kids, like all the glow sticks and stuff. It looks like it has like a unicorn horn on the top of it. I am obsessed with this hourglass tool skin. Okay, here is the hourglass at night. Let's check out this uh, Alice in Wonderland stuff too. Nothing is glowing on it. Unfortunately, nothing glows there, but this is really, really cool. This is so stinking cool. Okay, let's check out the other stuff in the dark. Yeah. You gotta see the stuff in the dark. Is the water glowing too? Or does it always look like that? I really can't tell. You know what? The shovel looks quite different in the dark. Also, again, it's giving me Christmas vibes. I feel like in the day, the shovel looks more like a leaf pattern on the shovel head. And here, I don't see it as much. The fishing rod, pretty straightforward. Noth nothing too crazy there. Pickaxe, again, mine has a potion on it. Sorry about that, y'all. I don't know why they don't do something cool on the like, phone case as well because that's what you really see can't really see what's on my screen too well and then yeah this takes the cake this is the reason to get it <laughs> this is so cool this is so stinking cool to run around with i i can't even get over it this is a an amazing tool set i've not even bought all the tool sets but this one this one is right up there with the Bells tool set for me. I, I really am a fan. Let me water this. Love it. Okay, love the tool set. What do you guys think of about the tool set? I would love to hear from y'all. All right, I did add Moonstones to my account because I gotta check out the rest of the stuff in the shop this week. So make sure y'all give this video a like. Okay, Main Street Confectionery. Let's purchase this. I think this might be a solid addition to my forest currently. And I think this house will be really fun to decorate the inside of too. All right, and then the only other thing I am missing is Meg's dress. This looks so cute on my character, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's try this on as well. Okay, so here is Meg's dress. This is so stinking cute. Looks just like her dress in the movie, and now I feel like we just need her hair in game as well to complete the whole look. I guess I should be barefoot or in sandals or something. This is such a fun dress. This is gonna be perfect for dream snaps or doing any decorating with the Hercules items. As you can see, a few of them around this area Area in my forest currently. I've been absolutely loving that furniture collection. So I'm excited to see some more Hercules stuff out of the game. This dress is so pretty. I can't wait to use this in a dream snap. It's gonna be phenomenal. So I've been working on making this little shopping district over here in my forest of valor. And I am considering maybe putting this new confectioner shop over here, if it'll fit. I honestly don't know, but let's take a look at that house. Okay, this house is very big. I also feel like it is kind of a copy and paste of the Touch of Magic Boutique. It's basically the same dimensions, right? Y'all see this? It's kind of the same building. Okay, so I'm hoping that it might fit here. I don't think it will. It's gonna stick out. Uh, you know what? This, this is probably not gonna look great in my forest with this kind of like elegant look I'm going for. Let's take a look at it over here. I think this will look better in the plaza. Honestly, this will probably look good next to Oswald's house. I haven't done any quest for Oswald yet, so I don't even have his house, but I feel like that one will actually look really good with this place. I don't know why they keep making the windows look so 
lifeless on these buildings. Like, I don't know, I feel like they should be blue or just look like they're lit up during the day because having them all black just it doesn't look welcoming to me. Again, I always hate the mailbox on these houses as well. They just, they never match the rest of the house. It doesn't look good in my opinion. I like that it lights up. This will be really fun to decorate the inside of. If you're a fan of the Disney parks, this will be perfect. And I think that this would suit this week's Dream Snap theme as well. I actually really like this uh, light up sign on the corner of it. And having more buildings that are similar to the Touch of Magic Boutique where the entrance is on the corner is pretty cool. Okay, so here is the same house in the evening. Honestly, see, it looks so much better at night just because the windows are lit up. I really hope they improve the windows. I've noticed that with a lot of the house skins, they just look like kind of half done. I really don't like how the windows look during the day, but at night, this, this place looks so so much more magical. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think of this week's item shop. If you'll be getting anything from the shop this week, I'd love to know what. In my opinion, I think the things to get if you don't already have the Ferris wheel, you definitely have to get that. The electrical parade tools, I think are some of my favorite tool sets in the game. Um, so I would definitely pick those up if you have the moonstones for them. Alice's Curious Labyrinth bundle, it has some hit or miss pieces, but I think ultimately have Having those fence pieces is going to be useful and I love Alice in Wonderland so I want to have as many items from her furniture collection as possible. Now the house is not my favorite, I gotta be honest, but I think that this will be a great addition to your plaza or especially working on any amusement park builds or dream snap themes. I think that this house will be great if you have the moonstones for it. Meg's dress is really, really cute, but you could definitely pass this up and get it uh, next time it rolls around. So yeah, I think the things to get for me are the Alice's bundle and the tool set. I think those are my favorite things out of the shop this week as far as like the items that are new. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I post a new item shop review each week, so I'd love to see you back. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.